Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Nick. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? Uh, appointment for physio. Oh, right. I didn't have a physio appointment. I just wanted to see you, really. I don't see that we have any other choice. We're all out of sausages. Oh, third time this week. Have I told you you're a genius? Yeah, but don't let that stop you. Beautiful and talented, and I knew you could turn this place around. You're making me blush. I mean every word. It's perfect here with the two of us. Three of us. Giddy. Haven't these people heard of cholesterol? Luckily, no. I'm gonna start on the lunch specials. Mmm, apricot chicken. Another little piece of home. This is Chris's home. You sure about that? There you go, girl. Not long to go now. Hey, um, what happened to that foal alarm that your dad used to have? Busted. Well, do you reckon we should get a new one? Blazer's close to dropping the foal. Waste of money. Well, things can go wrong, especially the first time. I manage in the bush. Good day, Jim. Hey, Meg. Thanks for coming so soon. Yeah, no worries. How is Claire? Well, you did tell her I was coming, didn't you? Oh, thanks for that. Okay, if I come in. I was uh, just doing a house call to old Mrs. Jacobs, so I'd pop in, say good day. Didn't she die last year? Uh, yeah. Meg. She's worried about you, Claire. There's nothing wrong with me. What? I'm fine. I can get up. I can eat. I get through the day. Can you sleep?
I've given her some antidepressants. Do you think they'll work? Only if she takes them. Huh. Listen, uh, you call me if things get worse. What's worse? in the East Boundary paddock. How many times is it this week now, huh? How many times what? Have I told you about the hay shed roof? Sure, and I was going to... Three? Fix... Four? I know, and I was going to fix it. That loose piece of iron could have beheaded one of the horses. I'll go and do it now. Leave it. You're fired. Did she just fire you? Yeah, third time this week. You know, she can't keep taking out on everyone else. We should email Tess again. What do you mean again? I have sent her a message this morning. On Claire's computer? No, Mum, by Jungle Drum. What is all this crap, anyway? Well, I found Tess's Indonesian recipe book. I thought it might cheer Claire up a bit. Great, what are we having? Uh... If I could pronounce it, I'd tell you. Anything for me? No, sorry. Hey, what happened to our deal? Me, Brains, you, Braun, and the Braun gets to do the dishes. Meg's apricot chicken was a big hit. Yeah, and tonight it's Irish stew. Every table's reserved. We need to pick up some more potatoes. We meaning brawn? Yes, nice big ones with real dirt on them. Yes, boss. Boss? Oh, and by the way, boss. Hey, if she's brains and you're brawn, then what am I? Background detail? We're a team. Tess, me, and you. <laughs> the way it used to be. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Till Tess is the call of the wild again. trip to the mailbox? Well, if you sold those heifers when I told you, you might add a big check in the mail. I might take this old nag back to Drovers. Yeah, no, I'll just leave him. The only thing he's good for is making manure, mate. Yeah, well, Claire's not up for visitors. So she's still moping over that dickhead, is she? Is that your best saddle? You wouldn't be thinking of doing anything dumb like uh, jumping on that old nag, would you? That'd be stupid. Because you know what they said, if you're riding, your muscles will seize up. Why don't you start in the creek crossing? Since when do you become boss? Since I bought the place. Yeah, I thought so. Where's Jody? This is ready now. Speak of the devil. Couldn't find that broody old one. I think she's roosting up the ghost gum. She'll be safe enough up there. Oh, she probably saw what happened to her mate. Smells great. Does, doesn't it? Um, has Tess called her? Why she? Well, Claire hasn't said anything yet. She must be busy. Oh. Well, what do you think? Tess would like it. Well, you can't get a better recommendation than that. Actually pay the power bill and the rent and the supplies. This is just the beginning. Tomorrow she's bringing out the heavy artillery. Oh, let me guess. <laughs> Rutal soup. Worse beef rissoles. <laughs> rissoles. Yep. Hey, what's over here to club? All of us. Of course. Sure, well, sounds like fun. As long as we don't stay out too late. You got a problem with seeing the sunrise? No, it's just that my bags are starting to get bags. I love the sunrise. 
sunrise over drove is the way it sort of creeps up on you over the hill. Turns the paddocks to gold and it's like... What are we waiting for? Let's get out of here. Come on. Sleep. You might have noticed that I haven't been myself lately. Is that right? Well, I figured out what to do to fix the problem. That's great, Claire. Well, for starters, I'm terminating my contract with Australian Budlines. Oh, not because of Pierre. And I'm selling drovers. doesn't mean it. No way. It's just like firing me three times in one week. Or forgetting to fix the fence in Skinny Jim's paddock again. Oh, she didn't. Yeah, she did. And if we don't want next year's wool check to end up as roadkill, then... Yeah, as soon as we finish up here. How do you even go about selling a farm, anyway? In the usual way. You find an agent, get it listed. That would take ages, wouldn't it? Six months or more. I should be long over it by then, hey? Sure. Where would you find a buyer for a big spread like Drovers, anyway? <laughs> How much? I'll get a valuation. We can work it out from there. What makes you so sure I want Drovers? You've always wanted Drovers. Yeah, I didn't think I'd have to pay for it. <laughs> Maybe help out with the cost of Nick's wedding reception. Well, you'd had to wait an awful long time, Harry. Well, if you're not interested, fine. I'll find another buyer. Well, they won't exactly be dropping out of the trees. They will if I subdivide. I'll break drovers up into lots. Terry? Terry? Yeah? You going up to the top paddock this morning? Yeah. I'll put a basket in the kitchen. Would you mind, um... Yeah, no worries. Thanks. All right, Claire. just agreed to buy drovers. It's the last roll. All out of soap, too. And breakfast cereal and butter and... Man, it must be your turn to go to town, right? No need. Fairy godfathers just thrive. Your mum sends a laugh? Yeah, she's sending dunny paper. Tell her thanks, Terry, and let her know that malnutrition isn't set in just yet. I reckon you've got to mind on other things today. I'm more concerned about food poisoning with your cooking, mate. No secret, Claire was having a rough proper do to thought, eh? Hey? Cool. You never do. Thought your mum was going to blow a gasket. I do my bit, considering I don't even own the joint. Well, no one's twisting your arm to stay. You can go whenever you want. Yeah, well, Harry uh, wants me to unload some hay, so... Oh, uh, you better not mention I'm the one who bought you the big news, all right? What big news? Harry's agreed to what? To buy drovers. Gotta make a call. Six months or more, that's what you said.
thought the hard ground might have hurt him, but uh, doesn't seem to have been a problem. Oh, can you just hold on a sec? Peter Johnson. It's Claire. Claire. Uh, how are you? Good, thanks. Great. I was hoping that you were going to call because... Um, I need you to pick up the horses. Why would I want to do that when they're doing so well with... Today. About six. Look, Claire, it doesn't have to be this way, OK? See you today, If we can just... About six. Claire, we can just talk about this. I'm sure we can sort... Gabby, you've heard the good news. Claire doesn't want to sell drovers, and you know it. Hey, I was doing her a favour. What are you going to do? Hit me again? Hey? You're not worth it. Alex! I don't know how you can stand to be in the same bed. Your son doesn't seem to like the way I do business. Why don't you just tell him the truth? I didn't have to justify myself to anyone. I mean, Drovers is her life. Where's she gonna go? Well, with the amount of money she's gonna get from Harry Ryan, she'll have plenty of options. Where do you reckon we'll go, Mum? Sydney, Melbourne? Well, considering our finances, I'd say the caravan park at Gungellum. All right, that's it. We have to call Tess. Um, here's the specials for today. Thanks for the one I'm going to get to You sure? Oh, you would like one? Yeah, sure. Can I take a pack of these balls? Got it. No more bookings for tonight. We're packing them in like sardines as it is. Music to my ears. The comfort zone, good afternoon. Oh, hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, going well. Tess? Great. Oh, you know what she's like. Thrives on nightlife and petrol fumes. Actually, she's not here at the moment. Can I take a message? Yeah, okay, lay it on me. Problems. Yep, as soon as I see her, I promise. Okay, catch you later. Another satisfied customer. Can't keep him away. Ah. Most of the horses are up in the yards. Might as well drive straight up. Come on. Claire, look. If you've got a problem with me, Australian Bloodlines does have other reps. It's a big contract. I don't want to see you just, just throw it all away. I mean, I just thought Tess really cared, you know? Well, maybe she's busy. I'm not too busy to return a phone call or answer her emails. Mmm. Rock cakes, eh? Good. No, they're oatmeal muffins. Mum left them in the oven too long. I always like my tucker well cooked. You know, you're going to miss Mum's cooking. So where are you headed anyway? Oh, I don't know. Any racks up going down, I hope. <laughs> Can't really picture Mum as a townie, can you? She'll cope. Yeah, but she really likes it here. Prefer the bush myself, I must say. You're not even going to try and talk her out of it, are you? Well, since when I've been able to talk Meg out of anything. Wake up, Terry, OK? You're the one Mum wants. I mean, you know Brad Pitt, but... Says who? Look, 
I'm going to take this tin now. I might not be back. Jodie, I reckon you should have another go at contacting Tess. Why? And give her more messages to ignore. Well, make sure the next message is the one that she can't. Exactly. My letter of resignation in writing, as the contract says. Do you hate me this much? And why? Because if I keep seeing you, then the pain will never go away, and I'll stay like this forever. Be this way. <sighs> yes, it does. Wait, wait, wait. Scroll down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. This is an important news flash, folks. Comfort zone is officially in the black. Yes! I'm going to send Meg the biggest bunch of flowers I can find. Oh, it wasn't Meg, it was you. I think this calls for a bottle of Bolly and a table at the best restaurant in town besides ours, of course. You know what? I would settle for takeaway deep fried chicken yeah. on a park bench as long as I didn't have to do the cooking. Followed by a long hot soak in the tub and eight hours sleep. Oh, yeah. <sighs> hey, you've got mail. Mm. Who from, drivers? No. Brad Pitt. Oh. <laughs> Oh. They've split up. No way. Selling drovers. You've been deleting my emails. Claire's in trouble and she's selling drovers. I've got to get back. Tess, I didn't know, I swear. I thought they were just emails. I thought they'd make you homesick. Please hear me out, Tess. It, it was a bad idea, right? A bad right? idea? You lied to me. I know, and I'm sorry. I didn't want you to leave again. <sighs> Pathetic, isn't it? It's not the same without you, Tess. Look at what you've done here. You, you've turned it around. It's not about the food. You could have served up cold spam and it wouldn't matter. It's you that makes a difference. I just... I just wanted you to stay. Yeah, well, you went about it the wrong way. Tess? Wait. Take this. Go on. You'll need it for petrol money and stuff. I'll send the rest of your share later. He only did it because he loves you. Stupid, yes, but malicious, no. I oh, know. I'll forgive him eventually. Give me a call, all right? Yep.
change and I never will You called and I came running You cried and now I'm here So hold this faith Accept our faith These are little fears We have enough to guide us Not that I expected a full-on welcoming committee or anything, especially when you're about to sell the place without even telling me. And you've busted up with Peter, not even a phone call. He was already married. <laughs> Claire, come here. Into bed. I've been a bit of a mess. Yeah, well, I don't want you to worry anymore. I want to take care of drivers now. So, why didn't you tell us you were coming back? Well, yeah, I didn't... thought you'd gone under a bus or something. Well, I've been... Claire, are you back? Have you seen her? Yeah, we've just... You are back for good now, aren't you? Right in saying that you all actually missed me. No, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, me too. Right then, we've got some work to do. Claire's a little wacko under the weather right now, so we need to keep things going until she's feeling better. Beck, Jide, you take some hay up to the cattle check on the sheep. Meg, you do the troughs, okay? What's the point when Harry's taking over? Harry? She's sold drovers to Harry? I have an agreement with Claire. In writing? Yeah, it's good as. Well, no paperwork, no sale. Well, it's not the way we do things out here. Well, it's the way I do things, and I'm half owner. What do you want with drivers, Tess? You're a townie. Yeah, but I'm still Jack's daughter. And I have more of a right to drivers than any Ryan ever will. What about Claire? Claire's tied up right now, but we're in complete agreement. So there you have it, no hard feelings, just business, nothing personal. Do I make myself clear? Oh, perfectly. And? And what? Drivers is not for sale. Right. Anything else I can help you with? As a matter of fact, yes. I just want you to come and tell him you're sorry. <laughs> Dad does the wrong thing and you want me to apologize. Right home, Mum. The only reason your father agreed to buy Drovers was to stop Claire selling it to someone else. To stall her? She's not herself. He knows that. He had no intention of holding it to it. That's smart. You've got to admit that. 
Why didn't he just say so? Well, why didn't you ask him, instead of just assuming the worst? Well, maybe the worst is what I've come to expect, Mum. Well, then you're an idiot, Alex. Oh, man. I was not deep enough yet. That must be my fault. OK, everyone, I have two very important announcements to make. Number one, Harry Ryan is not buying drivers. How the hell did you manage that? Yeah, what did you bribe him with? Oh, it was easy. I just gave it to him straight and he caved in. Announcement number two. Ta-da! Jack's desk. Yep, the one and only. Chewy. You remember when I put it there? Remember I said it'd still be there when Dad's desk came home? Well, we had to have a home for it to come back to. Whether we all like it or not, I'm still a McLeod. That's great, Tess. Claire, Blaze has waxed up. We're about to give birth? Not quite. But set your alarm. It usually happens at four in the morning. Come on, Nick. That's deep enough. Not yet. The other way and put it in. Wait up. The other way. Wait up. Oh. Hey, it's always got to be your way, doesn't it? What? It's not my way. It's what works. Maybe I just don't like taking orders from my little brother. What am I doing here, Nick? This is your place, mate. Kalani's your place, Alex. Despite that. I reckon Mum would be a bit more settled with one of us at home. Yep. The old man, well, he ain't getting any younger. All less cranky. Yeah. Gotta know how to handle him. Looks like you've got everything. I reckon. So, you gonna be okay, baby cakes? I'll cope. Nick. Know what the physio said, mate? You'll get stuck up there. Thought you were leaving. Are you gonna do Come in? Nah, I bet not. No, nah, actually, I come to say goodbye, but if Claire's not selling drovers and you're not going nowhere, I may as well save my breath, eh? May as well. Good. You sure you don't want a cuppa? Nah. Oh, I almost forgot. I won't finish with it, may as well pass it on. Oh, thank you, Terry. That's for Jody. the trough again. There's water right across the driveway. I, mean, I guess uh, someone should fix it. Yeah, there's a uh, buckle gate over Johnson's paddock too. Bloody Terry hit it with a bulldozer. Take my pick, huh? Up to you.
with this. Yeah, that's me. I, um... I just... I came from Madonna, I was missing her, so, um... Do you mind? Not at all, not at all. Ask her for trouble, though, isn't it? I mean, a budgie's one thing, but... <laughs> pets in your flat? Oh, right. <laughs> Actually, I'm back. Drivers. Welcome home. Thanks. So, here for good then? Yeah, that's the plan. Better be going. Oh, you better get Madonna tested too. Lover boy took uh, quite a shine to her. Broke a couple of fences trying to get to her. Oh, right. Oh, it's quite romantic when you think about it. So you're back in the saddle? Yep. Looks like you were born there. Yeah, might even die here. Yeah. I should get back. Sure. We've told Claire, right? She reckons you can handle it. Says give her a hoy if something goes wrong. Oh, great. The first file in the breeding program and she doesn't want to know. How many files have you delivered, Meg? Five. Right, well, that makes five between us. Okay, if that's the way she wants it, we'll need hot water soap, old towels... And you stay here. You stay right there, I'll be back. Claire, quick! Get up, boys, this foal's coming. Oh, yeah, so I heard. Well, Meg reckons we'll need the vet and he might not get here in time, so I just don't know what to do and all the blood. She's bleeding. No, not yet, but she might start any time soon and the noises she's making are... Have you seen its feet? Oh, I wasn't going to look. Well, I think they might all be stuck. I mean, there's not exactly a lot of room in there, so... All right, I need a clean bucket, some hot water, some soap and towels. Lots of old towels! Claire, you've got to help her. Take it easy, Tess. Yeah, but she needs us. No, she needs to be left alone. Excuse me, can't you do something? Sometimes you can get close and sometimes you can't. Come on, girl. Come on. <gasps> oh! I can see the feet! Oh, Claire, I have to tell you if this was me. Ow! I would be screaming right Shh. now. Shh! Sorry. Good girl. Who can do it? Breathe, Blaze. You have to breathe, Claire. That's what they do in the movies. Breathe, Blaze. That's it. Lie down. Lie down. Oh. There you go. Oh. There you go. Come on, Blaze. Big push. 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 That's it. That's it, girl. Come on. That's it. Come on. Out we come. Out we come. <laughs> Billy. A girl. Yeah. Poor oh, Claire.
She's a nice little filly. Fraction too long with Pastons. Maybe she'll grow into them. Yeah. What are you going to call it, Claire? I don't know. I thought Tess might have an idea. Right. Nothing too fancy. OK. How about Phoenix? As in river? As in Arizona. As in bird. Phoenix. Yeah, that'll do. You didn't really need my help, did you? I'm sorry things didn't work out for you in the city, Tess. Actually, no, I'm not. I don't know about you lot, but I'm starving. Yeah, right, I.